In previous class, we have completed few data structure. Today, let us see sorting algorithms. Sorting algorithm arrange elements of a collection into an order. For example, if we take an array of integers, then sorting algorithm will arrange all the integers in ascending order. Let's see bubble sort. Bubble sort is a simple sorting algorithm. It starts with the first element. It compares first element with the adjacent element means it compares with second element. If the first element is greater than second element, then swap those two elements. Same process will be repeated for each pair of adjacent elements till the end of the collection. Then again start with the first element. Repeat the same process until the all elements are sorted. Let's see simple example to understand how bubble sort will work. Suppose you have a row of children blocks with numbers on them. They are in random order like this and you wish to arrange them in ascending order. Begin with the first block. In this case, it is 3. Compare it with the adjacent block with this one. If the second block come before the first block, means first block greater than second block, then swap those two blocks. In this case, here 3 greater than 1. So swap these two blocks. Then compare the second block with third block. Here 3 is not greater than 5. So need not to swap these two blocks. Again, compare this third block with fourth block. Here also 5 not greater than 6. So need not to swap. Now compare this fourth block with fifth block. Here this 6 greater than 2. So swap these two blocks. Finally, compare this fifth block with sixth block. Again here. 6 greater than 4. So swap these two blocks. After completion of this first pass, this bigger block 6 will go to its correct position. First pass completed. In second pass also, start from the first block and compare it with the second block. Here 1 is not greater than 3. So need not to swap. Next compare this second block with third block. Here also 3 is not greater than 5. Do not swap. Compare this third block with fourth block. Here this 5 greater than 2. So swap these two blocks. Finally compare this fourth block with fifth block. Again this 5 greater than 4. So swap these two blocks. Here we no need to compare this fifth block with this sixth block. Since last two blocks are already sorted. In this third pass this first block will compare with the second block. Here 1 is not greater than 3. So no need to swap the second block compared with the third block. But see here 3 greater than 2. So these two blocks needs to be swapped. Finally compare this third block with fourth block. Here 3 not greater than 4. So do not swap them. So this is the final output after three passes completed. In fourth pass algorithm will perform these two comparisons. This first block will be compared with the second block. 1 not greater than 2. So no need to swap. Compare the second block with third block. Here also 2 not greater than 3. So do not swap them. Algorithm will perform this only comparison in fifth pass. This first block compared with the second block. 1 not greater than 2. So no need to swap them. After completion of last pass, all blocks will be in sorted order like this. Why it is called as bubble sort? Elements tend to move up in the correct order, like bubbles rising to the surface. Bigger bubbles rises rapidly. Above bubble sort procedure can be expressed in the form of algorithm like this. In the above example, we have six element where it perform five passes. Let's assume all the elements are stored in array. So take this for loop i from 0 up to array size minus 1. Here this last index is not inclusive from 0 to up to 4. Means array size minus 1 passes will be performed. Means 5 passes will be performed. Within each pass element will be compared with its next element. If element at index j greater than element at index j plus 1 then swap those two elements. Here index j starts from 0 and goes up to array size minus 1. Here also this upper bound not included. But when you see here after first pass one element is already sorted. So this j need not be go up to this index 4 
means we can terminate in our loop when j reaches index 3. Similarly, in fourth pass, we can terminate in our loop when j reaches 1. Likewise, if number of passes increases, the number of comparisons within the inner loop will be decreased. So, this inner loop can be modified like this array size minus 1 minus i. If this array size is n here, n minus 1 passes required because i equal to 0 so n minus 1 minus 0 within the first pass n minus 1 comparisons required in the next pass i become 1 so n minus 1 minus here 1 so this minus 1 and this minus 1 n minus 2 comparisons required and so on in the last pass only one comparison required this is equal to n into n minus 1 by 2 so the time complexity of bubble sort is big of n square bubble sort time complexity is big of n square so it is rarely used to sort large data but it can be efficiently used if data is nearly sorted for example if any number of elements are out of place by one position like this bubble sort will sort them in first pass itself in our previous example after third pass all blocks are already sorted still above algorithm will perform fourth pass and fifth passes once all these blocks are sorted algorithm must not perform remaining passes we can improve the above algorithm with little modification add this boolean variable swap within each pass set it to false even if single swap performed within one pass set this swapped boolean variable to true in this fourth pass all the blocks are in sorted order so no swapping will be performed so in that case this swapped will not be set to true so after completion of fourth pass this swapped variable will be false if this swapped is false algorithm must not execute further we have already seen worst case and average case time complexity it is big of n square if we use this optimized bubble sort algorithm in the best case means if all elements are in sorted order like this it takes only n comparisons these two will be compared no swappings will be performed so this swap will be false algorithm will exit so the best case time complexity of this optimized bubble sort is order of n only if we use this algorithm in the best case also means all the elements are in sorted order also its time complexity still will be order of n square this is the complete program for bubble sort here i am taking this array this n will hold the array size here i am calling the bubble sort function with two arguments array arr and array size n these are initial array elements in the first pass i value will be 0 which is less than n minus 1 here i used j as a loop variable j starts from index 0 j less than n minus 1 minus i so first element means element at index 0 compared with second element at index 1 so element at index j compared with element at index j plus 1 array of j 3 which is greater than array of j plus 1 which is 1 these two elements are in wrong order if we wanted to sort it in ascending order so swap these two elements then j will be incremented to 1 this thick red border at index 1 assume it as j now array of j 3 not greater than array of j plus 1 5 so they are in correct order so do not swap them again increment j now j at index 2 so compare this 5 with 6 they are in correct order so do not swap them again increment j now j is at index 3 compare this 6 with this 2 they are in wrong order so swap them again increment j now j is at index 4 now this 6 and 4 are in wrong order 
so sort these two elements then j will become 5 5 less than 6 minus 1 minus 0 5 less than 5 this condition will be failed so this inner loop will be terminated after this first pass bigger element 6 will be in its correct position i will be incremented to 1 which is less than n minus 1 means less than 5 so j will be in sliced with 0 same process will be repeated j will be compared with j plus 1 they are in same order again j will be incremented again j and j plus 1 elements compared they are in proper order again j incremented now j is at index 2 array of j 5 compared with array of j plus 1 2 so these two elements are in wrong order so they will be swapped again j will be incremented j will come to index 3 that will be compared with j plus 1 index they are in wrong order so they will be swapped again j will be incremented now j will be 4 this inner loop will be terminated again i will be incremented now i is 2 and j is 0 same process will be repeated these two elements are in wrong order so they will be swapped again j will be incremented j and j plus 1 elements will be compared they are in proper order so swapping will not be performed again j will become 3 this inner loop will be terminated again i will become 3 j initialized with 0 j and j plus 1 index will be compared they are in proper order so will not be swapped again j will be incremented again j and j plus 1 in proper order j will be incremented inner loop will be terminated now i will become 4 j again starts with 0 j and j plus 1 will be compared they are in same order inner loop will terminate and outer loop will also terminate it so after completion of all these five passes all these elements are in sorted order